हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर माधुरी हुड्डा फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन महर्षि दयानंद यूनिवर्सिटी रोहतक हरियाणा इन द प्रेजेंट सेक्शन ऑफ स्टडी वी शैल नाउ मूव टू द एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ रिसर्च प्रोसेस दैट इज डेटा कलेक्शन टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स हियर एट दिस स्टेज वी फील द नेसेसिटी ऑफ हैविंग वन और मोर सुटेबल टूल्स और डिवाइसेज विच कैन गिव डिजायर डेटा रेलिवेंट टू द ओन गोइंग स्टडी so today we will discuss the topic characteristics of various tools of data collection the learning outcome of today's session are after going through this session the learner shall be able to explain the meaning and concept of data collection tools second the learner shall be able to explain various characteristics of a good research tool like validity reliability usability discriminating power and the interest third the learner shall be able to understand the different types of validity of a research tool fourth the learner shall be able to understand the different types of reliability of a research tool fifth the learner shall be able to select the tool on the basis of characteristics of a good research tool friends see data collection is very important and essential part of research process for any research study the researchers need to collect data so as to draw conclusions and arrive at valid generalizations from the data collected to test the hypotheses which are framed and to continue with the research data must be collected using suitable and appropriate tools so there are some tools and techniques of data collection and employing appropriate sampling methods and collecting data haphazardly is neither sufficient and nor desirable a researcher needs many data gathering tools in his research study and these tools may vary in complexity administration and the process of interpretation each and every tool of data collection is suitable for collection of a particular type of data or the information the researcher is to select from the available tools which will help in collection of data for further testing of hypothesis sometimes he find that the existing tools are not serving his purpose so he may adapt or modify them or can go for construction of another tool though the researcher has to be careful in selecting and developing the appropriate and accurate tool for data collection only the data collected methodically using right tools will give valid and reliable information and help the researcher to draw valid conclusion and arrive at good generalizations there is availability of variety of methods and procedures developed to help in collection of data and each method or tool may differ from the other in terms of complexity design administration and interpretation the researcher has to rely upon one or more tools at a time during the process of data collection and accordingly he or she needs to be careful and wise enough in selecting the data collection tool each tool or technique is designed for yielding certain type of data The researcher may make use of standardized or ready-made tools or may develop their own depending upon the type of research study they are conducting and the nature of data they require. The important tools are questionnaires, observations, interviews, attitude scales, rating scale, psychological test, etc. In the selection of research tool for data collection, a researcher must look for the characteristics of good research tool means The researcher must evaluate the tool in terms of validity, reliability and usability. These are certain evaluative criteria for a good research tool. So let us discuss in brief the certain characteristics of good research tool. First of all we'll discuss validity. Validity of a research tool is its accuracy to measure actually what it is supposed to measure. In general it is said the tool is valid if it measures what it claims to measure. and it is valid if it meets the purpose for which it was designed it is also thought of as utility but its meaning is contextual a tool may not possess universal or eternal validity it may be useful for one study and invalid or useful for another study for instance we cannot ask whether this is a valid tool instead of this we need to ask how valid this tool is for the decision i wish to make and there are certain type of validity as mentioned like first is content validity then construct validity and third criterion related validity first is content validity content validity is related to measure 
validity of the tool to measure its similarity with the course content which has been taught in the course. It is measured for the proficiency tools and the academic achievement tools. It indicates how much the tool is related to the course content taught. It refers to the degree to which the tool actually measures the trait for which it was designed. It is estimated by judging the relevance of tool items in relation with the objectives of the course content and actual subject matter studied. Course content validity is, uh, depends upon the careful examination of course subject books, syllabi, objectives and the judgment of subject experts. This type of validity depends upon the several subjects experts opinion and the specialist of the tool construction. Second type of validity is construct validity. Construct validity is generally measured for psychological tools. It is concerned with the interpretation of test scores in terms of psychological and theoretical constructs. It is calculated in terms of similarity of various dimensions included while constructing the tool in reference to other available tools. Construct validity can be measured in three ways. First is method of factor analysis. The tool in hand which is developed to assess and then to explain the nature of construct is correlated to other tools and these other tools are the already accepted measures of the construct. Then after comparing few tools, it is observed which tool are measuring the common factors of the construct. Second method of measuring construct validity is method of group differences. The nature and the theory related to the construct of a trait presumes that a certain type or the characteristics of people will perform differently on the measurement of this particular trait. On the basis of measurement of this trait for these particular groups, the hypothesis of difference in the test scores is verified. Third method is method of observing the effect of experimental treatment on the test scores. This method of establishment of validity depends upon the assumption that the measurement of a trait in terms of test score will change on the application of experimental treatment. Some predictions in this regard can be made and tested and if these predictions are approved then the validity of a tool as a measure of construct is supported otherwise it, became, it becomes doubtful. Third is criterion related validity. See in many situations the decision making is based on a person's expected future performance which is predicted by the present test scores. The test which predicts the kind of behavior which it was expected to predict is called predictive validity and predictive validity refers to the usefulness of a tool in predicting some future performance. For example, usefulness of an entrance examination of an university in predicting the results of students in first semester. It is usually applied for selection and classification type of test and we can easily predict the future behavior depending upon the present performance or the outcome. This type of validity is known as predictive validity. It is measured generally for the aptitude type of test, aptitude test and this type of validity indicates what the tool measured or predicted in terms of aptitude will be observed in future behavior of the subjects. Second is concurrent validity. In some situations and for some traits for which the tool is developed, some already existing tools are also there and if these already existing tools are accepted well, then the question arises that whether the new tool is in consonance with the already existing tool. The agreement between this new tool and the already existing tool is estimated by empirical comparison. Both these tools are applied on the same set of individuals and compared and this type of validity is related to the agreement between these two measures and is called concurrent validity. Now we will discuss reliability. A reliable tool is one which measures accurately and consistently. If a reliable tool is given to two or three times to the same group of the people, then it should get approximately the same scores on all the occasions. Repeated measures of the attribute or the trait on the tool to be evaluated for reliability may give different results also. This difference in results may be due to the real change in behavior of the subjects or because of unreliability of the tool also. Reliability of a tool is expressed as a correlation coefficient and we have mainly four methods or procedures for assessing the reliability of a tool. 
which are test retest method equivalent or parallel form method split half method and the rational equivalence method first of all we'll discuss test retest method if the same tool is administered two times and at the, uh, to the same sample and with the, some time gap and the scores of two sets are correlated to obtain the reliability of the test more will be the coefficient of correlation more reliable the test will be the gap between two tests should be wisely chosen so as to minimize the undesirable effects of practice memory or maturity second method is equivalent or parallel form method in this method we prepare two forms of the test which are equivalent in terms of content number of questions difficulty level timing etc the correlation of the scores on these two parallel forms will determine the reliability of the test third method is split half method the test is split in two halves which are equivalent in nature we can divide the test in two halves in number of ways like selecting odd number of questions or selecting even number of questions whichever is suitable and convenient the scores on these two split half test can be correlated using spearman brown formula to ensure the reliability next method is rational equivalent method and the usability in rational equivalent method two forms of the test are called equivalent when the corresponding items can be interchanged and when inter item correlations are the same for both the forms reliability of this method is uh, determined by coda richardson formula and then usability usability of a good research tool include uh, various aspects like objectivity of the test economy of time cost simplicity ease of administration scoring and interpretation of the test then we'll go for uh, objectivity first a tool is said to be objective if it is free from personal biases and the judgments of the researcher each and every item must be clear in the sense and free from ambiguity it may contain mcqs it may contain true false type questions or it may have matching type of questions so the tool need to be objective and it should be free from the biases of the researcher next aspect is ease of administration and scoring directions for administration of the tool should be simple and clear and the scoring of the tool items should also be very easy and simple then the next aspect is interpretation of the test results it should be easy to interpret the scores to reach the desirable effect the test should give the results in a way that the results are easy to interpret because sometimes the researcher choose such type of test which have very hard scoring and it is very difficult for them to get the scoring done so in this way sometime uh, the scoring give, uh, gives uh, uh, erroneous results or just because of the inability or uh, incompetency of the researcher they are not able to do good scoring so interpretation of the test should be easy and simple then the next aspect is economy a good tool should be econom economical in terms of time money labor etc like the test should be economical it should not be very costly it should not be very uh, time consuming and it uh, it must give facilitation for the researcher to use next part is discriminating power a tool discriminates well when it is constructed in such a manner that it well detects or measures small differences in achievement and when it picks out good from the bad so the tool should have discriminating power then next is interest like the tool should be interesting enough to seek the attention and cooperation of the subjects under study so the students these were the characteristics of a good research tool the researcher should also refer to the mental measurement yearbooks and the indian indian uh, mental measurement handbook by ncrt for the acquaintance with the foreign and indian psychological tools in and in addition to the name of the authors you will over find the critical ev and uh, evaluation of the published test also there so friends today we discuss the characteristics of good research tool under data collection tools and techniques under the main frame and we discussed in detail validity reliability usability interest discriminating power as the characteristics of good research tool i hope you enjoyed this learning session and thank you very much 
So wishing you.